victim of prejudice. Maybe it's when you're traveling to a foreign country and you don't know the language while asking for directions. Or maybe it's when you're applying for a new job and you have an accent, so the guy who's interviewing you is looking down at you. Or maybe when you were a kid, you really wanted to be accepted into that cool kids group on the block and you could not afford that pair of very expensive sneakers that would get you accepted. So they would never, ever, ever hang out with you. And how about simply when joining a new gym and being a little bit out of shape and you walk in and people work out of, as if it was their profession. I once didn't pass my driving license test because I believe I just stuck a little bit too much for it and I didn't speak the dialect of the Swiss region I'm from. So the examiner, who really didn't hide that he didn't like me, he actually told me that I was a decent driver, but he didn't let me pass. The following time, I dressed down. My hoodie, my unwashed hair, and, well, the key sentences in the dialect sealed the deal. And by the way, the examiner didn't even recognize me. We all have felt victim of prejudice or discrimination at a certain point in our lives. Society tends to classify people in social groups, and it's often the minorities, the ones that feel the most discriminated or that suffer the most. And me too, quite early in my career life as a woman, and to my big surprise, discovered to be part of a group that is treated like a minority despite being represented by more than half, or more or less half, of the world population. I started my career quite early. I started modeling at 12 while studying. I finished my studies, I graduated in economics, and went on to trying my way into finance. And yet, for how deeply different the financial world from the modeling industry is, I quickly discovered that being a woman was not necessarily an advantage in either of those two. In the modeling world, casting agents look at you as a pretty face. The, how the light falls on your cheekbones and your measurements are far more important in your opinion about the creativity of the photo shoot or the beauty and the idea of the campaign. You're much better off just not saying a word. And the financial industry wasn't much better. Whereas at the entry point as an intern, the chances for you are quite equal. The opportunities for men and women are quite equal. Uh, the intensive pace of the job and the competitive environment make it extremely <coughs> difficult for corporate women to hold top managerial positions while having a family. The environment simply doesn't allow it. The corporate world is a male-dominated environment where flexibility, long maternal leaves are difficult and the balance between work and family time is even more difficult. Can you imagine a woman being a CEO or a director, being a wife, being a mother, and even find the fundamental time for self-work and personal growth in her life? It is not easy. So, it's also a question of perception. As Sheryl Sandberg likes to emphasize, women are called bossy when they show the same exact types of behavior that in men are believed, of, uh, believed as assertive. <laughs> An independent, single, and very beautiful girlfriend of mine had to go to the extent of wearing a fake wedding ring every time she went to a client's meeting. So, she said, she'd be perceived as this nice, taken and respectable woman. And despite things are moving slowly forward, women are still not equal in most of the old structures and field in this world. They, are, they have to fight harder for respect and likability. I often hear friends of mine talking about a woman who just achieved something and saying, 
Well, she must be the wife of the, or the girlfriend or the daughter of somebody. As if behind her success there must be a man. And if there is no man in her life, they start saying, well, there's something wrong with her. As if the purpose of a woman's life is just and only the one of being a mother and a wife before anything else. So while uh, trying to find my way uh, or a career path that would suit me and make me feel great in my life, and while going through quite a crisis, lying on my mom's couch and eating a lot of cookies, I stumbled upon a field, almost by chance, a field in which self-determination, creativity, and complete freedom are still unbound. It is a jungle where new structures are created daily and in which social minorities or those people who often feel marginalized or judged find a voice find an audience and an audience that can relate to them. It is the internet. So I embarked, while taking all my previous experiences with me, into a new type of career. When I tried to explain to my grandma what I do, I more or less say that I publish creative pictures and videos, often in collaboration with brands, that then are watched by many, many people who want to get inspired, follow my life, get a glimpse of positivity, which I try to give them every day, and why not get new fashion ideas? My grandma still cannot believe I can actually make a living out of it. So, internet allowed me to be a female entrepreneur while standing in high heels, but I'm not the only one to, to be a digital influencer or an, an online entrepreneur. The field, despite being very new, only a few years old, has a ton of success stories. Bloggers who come from little towns in the middle of nowhere, who then start traveling the world, gracing covers of the biggest fashion magazines, collaborating with the biggest brands, to then become themselves designers and launching their own brands. I'm sure you've heard of singers who self-publish their music, and get discovered and become an overnight chart success. Or chefs who like to share their recipes online and show their videos and inspire people to cook. Even psychologists who don't even meet their clients and help them from across the globe. Or lawyers who can give tailor-made advice while uh, having some spare time in between jobs or things like that. I truly believe that we need not only a structural change, but also a mentality shift. In this new wave of corporate, internet-related, flexible, uh, not corporate at all, actually, internet-related and flexible professions are a chance for us to rewrite some of the social rules and expectations about what's acceptable and what's not. I believe a woman should be able to stay feminine, to take care of herself, to dress beautifully with a skirt and high heels, and at the same time be respected for her skills, her opinions, and her ideas. I truly believe that she should not be questioned if her beauty is the shortcut for her success, and if her achievements are actually due to the fact that there's a man in her life. Another important point is competition. I believe it's really healthy if it's for achievements, but we women tend to compete against each other almost as if it's a primordial reflex. Girls, we have to be each other's partners and shoulders. We need to be happy for each other's achievements. We need to open doors and make introductions. When I worked in fields where women forgot about comparing each other's bodies and beauties and focused on the job, we made miracles. Women make miracles in terms of raising money for charities we partnered with and in terms of creativity. Another important point is to get your partner involved. Start the conversation. Guys, please. 
please take responsibility on how you speak and treat women in your life. Every little thing matters. I often hear saying, it's a very famous saying, behind a great man, there must be a great woman. I would love to be able to say the opposite too. And last but not least, do not, uh, if you choose a path, where it, whether it's through the internet or any other way that allows you self-determination, please do not expect instant gratification. I believe that the basis is always, always, always hard work. But real change begins with self-love. As Napoleon Hill said, action is the true measure of intelligence. So believe in yourself and take action by choosing a path and pursuing it with confidence. Take the leap.